Right guys, it's been a, quite a long time since I had my X-Max out actually. Well, it, well, out bashing like this, at a kind of location like this. I have had it here before in the mud actually, and that might be the last time I kind of bashed it hard. And what's actually happened, you can see here, is that tire blew. That tire split and blew on me last time I had it out just on some grass. And it's because of the water in it. I saw this water shoot up out of it, and it's because I hadn't, well, there's nowhere for water to go in those tires. I dried them out, I'd squeezed them out, the amount of water that was in them from bashing here in all these muddy, there were mud puddles all around here. Check that video out if you haven't already seen it. It was quite good, it was a lot of fun, but the amount of water that goes in those tires, it just ruins them. So I'm fully expecting this to blow the tires to pieces, but we'll see. We'll try it. I've made little tiny slit holes in all the tires. Hopefully the water will finally come out. So yeah, let's see how it goes. This is um, uh, ASV2, obviously. It's got a Max 5 in it, but otherwise it's fairly standard. I think the gearing I'm running is 1950, I think, with the, um, the plastic spur. I'm running a plastic V1 spur, but it's a bit quiet. I don't like the noise of uh, a metal on metal spurs, to be honest. The Creighton does that, the Creighton. I don't really like it. It's a bit quieter and it's lasted, so I'm all right. I'm happy with that. So let's see how it goes. I just, I just got wet. I just actually got wet then. Yeah, there's tons of water coming out of these tires because I just got splashed by it. The amount of dust. The amount of dust. Oh my god. Right. Let's get on this jump and see, see what an X Max does on this jump. Just use the crating on this jump. Let's have a look. The amount of dust. One thing that an X Max does, which you will never notice until you use it, or you might notice on these on a video, I'll take it over here in a minute on this rough ground, is that I don't know, I've never seen another RC car get over rough ground like an X Max. It just goes over it at speed with no problem so you, you can't really see it maybe on camera but it's impressive and it makes it uh, a very fun truck to own and use And it jumps so predictable. I mean, I don't know if you can see that, but. Whoa. <laughs> God, look at that, that dust cloud. One thing I don't use on the X-Max myself is self-writing. No, 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 no. Do not use self-writing. It's absolutely rubbish. Why don't you just walk over and turn your car over? Um, it's a waste of time and all it does is break the drivetrain. Or you, it did on my V1. I used it once on my V1. I was geared up and it just broke the front ring gear straight away. So, do not use self writing. Oh dear. <laughs> just fuck the shock. Excuse me. Excuse my language. No, it's still all right. Okay. Poor Kraton, it's funny. I, I haven't developed that love for the Kraton. I'd never do that with my X-Max. <laughs> big jump. Let's go for the big jump. I'm running out of daylight. I'm running out of daylight here. Let's see what... See what right, just to show you this, how it pokes over this sort of terrain. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's me done. Kind of pushing my luck maybe a bit here. So, quite a few big jumps with the X-Max. It's a great rig. I'm going to drive out of here before I run out of battery. It's getting dark anyway. So yeah, good run with the X-Max. It's quite a truck, isn't it? Let's face it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next bit. See you later. Bye.